Hello, and welcome to another version of Sonar Tech Tip. So you might be wondering in those cases, you want to add an item to your list, your pick list, for the case, but somehow you just can't seem to find that item in the computer. So let's take a look at an item. Say we have a co-seal, co-seal, and we want to put it in the pick list for this particular case. Let's go and walk through the steps to see how we do that. Okay, so here's our item, the co-seal. So say we already know the reference number is 934072. Okay, so let's write that down in our minds. So let's go to the computer now and take a look at the case. So here I have the case open and now I want to choose the pick list. Now once I'm inside that pick list now it's time to add the item. And you may be familiar with adding the item by going to the ellipses that's located in the top right corner. The ellipses of the three dots. And you get a dialog box that asks you what you're looking for. So a reference number is actually what's referred to in Cerner as a manufacturer item number. So that's what this is here. So we select that from the drop down menu. And it's good to search for text that includes because this will give you more results. And before I type in what I'm looking for, let me double check and make sure that by going to this tab called item type, let me make sure that I'm at least looking at the item master. If this did not have a checkbox next to it, I will get no results because all items are located in this database called the item master. So it's very important that we select that. Now I should be able to go in there and write in this number. Okay, so 934072 was the number. So now I'm going to ask Sonar to look for it. And there it is. The Co-Seal Surgical Sealant 8 Milliliter. That's exactly what I was looking for. And with that, if I'm satisfied, I will click OK. So I know, I know what you're thinking. You might be saying, come out, I know you, you were just lucky. I mean, on the first try, you found the item? It's not always, and I have to confess, we don't always find the item by the item number, the manufacturer item number, that is. And that's because of a variety of factors. For example, the manufacturer changes their manufacturing number uh, on quite a quite a frequent basis for some items and maybe not for others or another manufacturer buys another one out and therefore that changes the number altogether as well as who actually manufactures from now on and uh, immediately we don't actually do very good with keeping up on that so we might miss that so here's what you do in case we weren't so lucky we weren't able to find it by that reference number let's see how we do that Okay, so maybe the manufacturer item doesn't work. All right, that's fine. We will do one more thing then. One more. The next step will be to go to description. This is the one more step you can take before you uh, you can call me. So this description includes co-seal. So we'll just type in co-seal. And it doesn't really matter whether or not it says in caps or in mixed case or whatever. We tell it to find now. And you may notice we have three co-seals. And the one I actually want is this one down here, this 8 milliliter type co-seal. So there's a way to find the same item by not knowing, or maybe the item number, the manufacturer item number is not correct. So there's the other way to do this. So if you find yourself finding that even when you use the manufacturer item number, it doesn't show up anything. And then you go to the description and it still doesn't show anything. Okay, then it's time to call me at 2232 or find me because that most likely means the item just is not in Cerner and it needs to be put in. And I really appreciate it if you could tell me so then we can all be able to get it in there and, and be able to reference the item where we need to and we can all have a happy day. All right, thanks for watching. Bye bye.